Hi, I'm Paul from Vintage Maker. I'm a musician, music producer, electrical engineer, designer, pro studio analog developer, specializing in custom audio building since the 2010s. Why choose Vintage Maker? Simply because it provides the finest and most perfect custom-built analog gear for your studio according to your plans. So, you tell me what you need, and I make it for you the best and unique custom analog studio gear. Besides summing mixers, we offer a wide range of other custom products including desktop and rack-mounted studio monitor controllers, transformer color amps, hybrid studio devices, audio signal routers, line switchers, line pads, microphone and line level attenuators, insert bypass switching devices, with custom name and logo engraving, and more, all tailored to meet the specific needs of your studio. In order to make the best and unique custom gear for you, please answer the following technical questions. What is your DAW interface type, and what is the model and brand of your external hardware, outboard gear? Box type. Please select the housing for your custom gear, desktop, or rack mounted. Inputs. How many input channels do you need? You can freely choose between 4, and even up to 96 inputs. Outputs. How many output channels do you require? Do you need just one stereo output or two stereo outputs, such as main record and monitor out? Or do you require more? You can go up to 10 outputs. Please let me know. Connectors. For studio standard connections, what connector types do you prefer? TRS balanced, DB25 Tascam analog, or XLR, or a combination of these. For example, TRS XLR DB25 you can combine in any arrangement as you need for the inputs or outputs. Mono switch. The mono conversion switch is designed for monos like kick and bass, and provides a real analog mono console sound for your mono instruments while saving precious analog channels at the same time. Inserts. For external processing, you can use the channel insert, or master insert, or even the multiple master insert send return, to accommodate different outboards at the same time. You have the flexibility to use any combination of TRS, DB25, or XLR connections in any arrangement as you want. In addition, the DB25 connector can be individually configured according to your preferences, such as being used as insert, combined with master outputs, or aux inputs. Passive summing reduction. You can freely select your mixer reduction values, such as minus 6, minus 10, minus 15, minus 20, minus 25 decibels, or even more. If you are not sure about the values, please let me know your interface type, so that we can design the mixer to match the working range of your DAW interface. Why is passive summing gain loss important? When the input audio signal overloads the sum bus, it creates a rich and harmonically driven distortion known as saturation, resulting in a gentle harmonic distortion. If your summing mixer is not in the working range of your interface, or vice versa, you can't properly hit analog harmonics. Headroom. Why is headroom important? While digital systems do not have headroom, analog systems provide a buffer zone, safe zone for harmonics, transients, or loud sounds without risking clipping. This results in a more dynamic, open, wide, and 3D sound with greater depth. Headroom switch. Another popular feature is the variable headroom gain switch on the passive summing units, such as minus 10, minus 20 decibels, or others. Designed for different audio signal level applications, gain stages. With Vintage Maker's custom designed summing, there are no more signal gain compromises or volume compatibility problems, like those found in other brands on the market. We offer a wide range of options for your selection, including subgroup and multi-bus mixers, as well as the legendary vintage Newman Transformer-based summing amplifier, all custom designed to meet the specific needs of your studio. For more information, please visit VintageMaker.net. Thank you for watching.